welcome friends in today's session friends before uh, watching this video i request all of you to watch my previous videos based on mcqs part 1 and part 2 this mcq series i have started for the subject called financial accounting for the students of fi bcom sam 1 english medium today i am going to present part 3 mcqs based on the chapter called structure of balance sheet so friends if you like my video please share it with other also subscribe it and start watching my videos in full version so let us start now mcq session first mcq based on structure of balance sheet balance sheet of a company is required to be prepared in the format given in dash option a schedule 3 part 2 option b schedule 3 part 1 option c schedule 3 part 3 or option d schedule 3 part 4 so in which schedule we are supposed to frame balance sheet of a company as per companies act 2013 the right answer is option b schedule 3 part 1 is the right answer friends next as per companies act the balance sheet of a company is required to be presented in blank so in which format you are supposed to frame balance sheet as per companies act number one option is horizontal form next is vertical form it may be either horizontal or vertical form or the last option is none of the above so what if what what is the right way of presenting balance sheet as per companies act 2013 the right answer is vertical form of balance sheet is what required to be presented in present time so you are supposed to frame balance sheet as per companies act in vertical form it is also known as i shape form horizontal form is also known as t shape form friends next according to prescribed order of assets in a company's balance sheet dash assets should be shown first of all so what should be the order of assets in company's balance sheet what would be the first asset that should be listed in the company's balance sheet so let's have the option current assets loans and advances current investments and the last is non current assets so what is the first head under which the balance sheet is prepared in case of asset side so what would be the first asset head main head the right answer is option d the first head which we write in on asset side is non current asset followed by the other main head called current assets next is in a company's balance sheet dash appear under the main head called non current asset so let's see the option what appears under the head main head called non current assets goodwill patent vehicles all of the above friends in case of non current assets the first head is fixed assets and in case of fixed assets there are two sub heads that are known as tangible assets and intangible assets so both are covered under the head called tangible and intangible goodwill and patents are intangible assets while vehicle is a tangible assets comes under the main head called non current assets so all the three above three a b and c assets are non current assets so the right answer is option d all of the above this all three items are covered under non current assets from the following which one is not consider as a real asset 
which of the following is not a real asset it is an unreal asset let's have an option current assets fixed assets fictitious assets tangible assets so from this four assets which asset is not a real asset it is an unreal asset so let's see the answer and the right answer is fictitious assets are considered as not a real assets they are unreal assets next calls in advance appear in a company's balance sheet under which head where you will record calls in advances under which head you will show calls in advances number 1 share capital option b current liability option c reserves and surplus option d long term borrowings and the right answer is calls in advances where you will record this under balance sheet so the right answer is current liability it will be shown in current liability mark mind you it is calls in advances not calls in arrears so it will be shown in current liability next an asset which is having physical existence and it can be seen and touched is called as so you have to tell me which asset it is which is it which is having physical existence and it can be seen it can be touched it can be feeled which asset it is let's see the option fictitious assets tangible assets intangible assets all of the above so the right answer is physical existence can be seen can be touched can be feeled and the right answer is tangible assets can be seen can be touched can be feeled it is having its physical existence next point 8 mcq8 securities premium appears in a company's balance sheet under which head option a share capital it will be recorded under the head called share capital or it may be recorded in long term borrowings it may be recorded in reserves and surplus or it may be shown in short term provision so where it will be recorded and the right answer is security premium where it will be recorded the right answer is reserves and surplus it will be shown under the head reserves and surplus next number 9 prepaid expenses appear in the bal company's balance sheet under the subhead called where we will record prepaid expenses let's have the option short term loans and advances other current assets tangible assets other non current assets so where we will record prepaid expenses sir it will be shown on liability side under which head under the subhead called other current assets on the asset side it will be shown under the head called other current assets it is a prepaid expenses next is point 10 dash appear in the company's balance sheet under the sub held called short term provisions so let us see which item from the following will appear will be recorded in as a short term provision that's of the option provision for taxation calls in arrears pension fund unpaid dividend and the right answer is short term provision which is the short term provision from the following and the answer is option a provision for taxation next dash appear in the company's balance sheet uh, under the subhead called long term provision so let's have the option from the following which will appear as a long term provision in the balance sheet calls in advance investment fluctuation fund option c provident fund option d unclaimed dividend so you have to find the right answer from this four which is a long term provision so from this the long term provision is the retirement benefit of the employees which is known as provident fund yes the right answer is option c provident fund 
नंबर ट्वेल्व डैश अपियर इन अ कंपनी इज बैलेंस शीट अंडर द सब हेड कॉल्ड शॉर्ट टर्म बोरोइंग्स सो फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग फॉर ऑप्शन यू हैव टू टेल मी विच पॉइंट अपियर्स इन यू हैव टू गैस विच पॉइंट अपियर्स अंडर द हेड कॉल्ड शॉर्ट टर्म बोरोइंग्स so let's have the option bank overdraft is the first one second proposed dividend prepaid expense uh, prepaid insurance and the last one is national saving certificate so from the four options which is the right option which can be appeared as a short term borrowing under the head so let's see the right answer the right answer is bank overdraft i hope you have enjoyed with me this video thanks this was the last mcq